Jumbo complimentary breakfast. I have three beautiful people here with me. They're all the way from America. Um, the first person is Vicky. Vicky, where are you from exactly in America? Hi, um, from Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. And how long have you been here for in, in South Africa? Uh, South Africa, I've been here since uh, Monday. Okay, so they're still fresh tourists, Rian. Then I've got with me another beautiful lady. Can you give us your name and where you're from? Hi, I'm Tanya Tate, and I'm actually from Liverpool in England, but I live now in Los Angeles in America. Ah, so they, and, and then we've got a gent, just to keep it all balanced, and you are very aptly dressed, I must say. Uh, <laughs> what is your name and where you're from? I'm Evan Stone, and I'm from Burbank, California. Will you take our visitors to the very first attraction. Would you do that for us, please? I cannot wait, Rian. I cannot wait. Moeder, waar is jylle? Ons is op die oomlik by die dieren. Can, can I describe them to you before I tell you what they are? Ja. Yeah. So imagine a horse. A dark chocolatey brown horse with a very velvety fur and then zebra-like backside and front legs with the face of a giraffe. That is the Okapi, or better known as the bush giraffe from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Ooh, That's wow. where we are right now, Rian. Ooh, wonderful. Um, there are only about 1,500 of these animals left yeah, they, in the world. What? So these, these are, and this is why they are the number four top attraction at the zoo is because they are so rare and it's probably unlikely that you would see them anywhere else. Whoa. All right now this is the fourth top attraction at the zoo. Let's hear what uh, our Americans have to say about the Ukapi. I want to see a majestical creature here. I had no idea it existed in the world. So I'm mind blown right now. I, I cannot believe it. All right so and the fourth Beautiful. place so far you're already impressed that we still have three attractions to go. Uh, it's a golden opportunity to see an animal that may not exist here in the world too much longer. So if you miss this opportunity, missing the opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, you hear what he's saying? Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. cannot miss seeing these animals. Yeah. You know, they're all in danger. Well, a lot of them are in danger. So we saw the Komodo dragon eating white little furry mice. And now, Whoa. as if that wasn't enough, we are in the aquarium where you will find the only inland shark in the country and it's the ragged tooth shark. Watch out for that one. Slippery when wet is his favorite, so <laughs> let's not get excited here. <laughs> yeah, so um, lots of excitement here in the aquarium. Here comes the papa. Oh, there he is. The papa. Oh, and he's huge. Um, you call him Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually standing next to Daddy. I, I've been told that Daddy's Evan, daddy. right? Evan, yes. Evan, Daddy. Yeah, yes. Evan is usually uh. Daddy. So, um, <laughs> the question remains. What is going on? <laughs> we are mixing nature with nature. What would you go and tell people at home? I think they should come. There's a load of amazing animals they'd be missing out on seeing. And, you know, we felt very safe. It was very welcoming. And, um, yeah, the, the staff are very knowledgeable as well. So it's, it's just such fun. And I, and I love the gorillas. <laughs> okay, Vicky, your thoughts? I think that this is the one place where you can be one with the animal, but, but safe, you know, because you are behind the glass, you are behind the cage, and you're able to look upon these beautiful animals and, and experience that. Why wouldn't you want to do that? So I've heard safety twice, um, Rian. Evan, what about you? Your impressions? What are you going to tell the folks back in LA? Uh, don't listen to Americans. We can't even keep our own ambassadors safe. So uh, don't listen to when we say something about because it's not necessarily true. As far as the zoo is concerned, it's the cleanest zoo I've ever been to. I live 15 minutes from LA Zoo. I'm a regular visitor here. This zoo is so much better. There's more greenery. And each, each uh, exhibit has, is, is better than any exhibit in L.A. standalone. Oh, wow. excellent. Yes. So excellent. that is an endorsement from three Americans who've never been to the National Zoological Gardens in Pretoria. Excellent. And that is what they think of it. The Complimentary Breakfast. Jacaranda FM.